I have sinned a lot and I have lost all Iman I had. Do you have any advice on how I can become a better human being? Yes. Right now, man. Right now. Turn to Allah and say, oh Allah, forgive me. That simple. That simple. What separated Islam from any other religion? There's no middleman in Islam. You don't need to sit in a box or put some money in a box or sit in front of a human being and confess to this and no. Between you and Allah right now. Right now between you and Allah. Say, oh Allah forgive me. Know that Allah will forgive you. This is the beauty of Islam. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what condition you're in, no matter how much sin you've committed, know Allah Azza wa forgives all sins. Hadith could see authentic hadith. Allah says what? Rather before that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks in Quran. Allah says, O oh my slaves, those who have transgressed against themselves, don't you ever, ever give up hope in the mercy of your Rabb, in the mercy of your Lord. Don't ever give up hope. And I'm not here to, 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 wallahi, to sweeten the, you know, or to try and inspire you or to wow you with my speech. Wallahi, I'm not. I'm speaking direct, authentic material. Don't you ever, I don't care how much sin you've committed, don't you ever give up hope in the mercy of your Lord. And look at this concept of Islam. I challenge this with anything and everyone else. You know, everything else in this world, you know, your best friend. Well, what, what's, what is it? Uh, BBF? Yeah? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not very, is, is it? Is it BBF? What is it? BFF? I don't know what it is, bro. BBF, BBFF. But I remember someone sent it to me. I thought, BFF? What the crack is this guy on, man? It's, yeah, it's best friends forever. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> best friends? Anyway, right? But I'm sure everyone in this room, everyone in this room has a best friend, has a koi, has, or if you're one of the boys, bro, we're like that, bro. Kasim, bro, I'll take a bullet for him, bro. Bullet, what like firecrackers go off, people run out. You let alone bullets. <laughs> All right? Yeah? But everyone in this room has a best friend. Wallahi, no matter how close your friend is, if you push the right buttons, Wallahi, they will disown you. I've had BFFs go to war with each other because of what she said and how she said it and the way she looked at me and the way I looked at her. I've had blood brothers, let alone, you know, your mate, your koi at school. I've had blood brothers go to war and shoot each other. Wallahi, this dunya, nothing is forever. Anyone and everyone in this world, if you push the right buttons, they will disown you. You know, you can work for a company. You can work for a company and give them the best years of your life. Work there for 30 years straight. You never took a day off. You never took a sick day. You, you, were, you were there 10 minutes before work and 10 minutes after work. And wallahi, even this company, they have a schedule. They have rules and regulations that if you break them, know that you're gone, you're done, you're finished. Your own mother, your own... Does, does anyone in this world, is there any doubt in anyone's mind that there's someone other than your mother that loves you? And is there anyone that loves you more than your mother? Impossible. Wallahi, even your mother, if you push the right buttons, she'll disown you. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the king, he says, oh my slaves, do whatever you please. Do it a million times. Disobey me. 
do whatever you want for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50, 60 years. You never prayed. You never fasted. Sin among sin. And then once, only once, you turn to me and you say, Ya Rabb. Allah says, Ya Abdi Naam, what do you want, man? What do you want? Allah forgives. Now you don't need to read a book. You don't need to sign up or an application. Now, right now, between you and Allah. And no one can take that away from you. Turn to Allah. Allah says, my slave, if you come to me with an earth load of sin, but you don't associate partners with me, I will come to you with forgiveness that matches it. Allah says, O oh my slave, if you come to me a handspan, I come to you an arm's length. If you come to me walking, I come to you running. My slave, when you remember me, I remember you. So yeah, if you've sinned and you've lost hope, then I tell you right now, make tawbah to Allah. Just right now, between you and your heart, ask Allah for sincere forgiveness. And wallahi, you will taste immediate iman. And then obviously work on this and try to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of course, and I'm sure you know the pattern. Allah forgives right away. Allah forgives right away. You can be committing crimes against Allah for years and years and years. Sins on top of sins on top of sins. Knowingly and unknowingly. Ya Allah, I knew I had to pray. I still didn't pray. I knew that was wrong. I still did it. I knew that was haram. I still earned money that way. I knew that was wrong. I still lied about it in court. I still did this. I still did that. I did hurt this person because I was angry. I did this because I didn't care about it. I did this because I just didn't want to hear anything else. I was selfish at the time. I was drunk on my own emotions at the time. Whatever it was. And you can have so many crimes against Allah for so, 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 so long. And at the end of all of that, Allah just says, just make tawbah, just make istighfar, right? And He says, Inna Allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami'ah. You know, Ya ibadi alladheena asrafu ala anfusihim. La taqnatu min rahmatillahi. Inna Allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami'ah. My slaves that have been crossed, that have done, been done, crossed the line. Asrafu. You know, they, they went past the line and they've been going past the line. They've lived a life of crossing the line. Don't lose hope in Allah's loving care. Allah will forgive all sins. Just come back. Just make istighfar. Right? But then, the, then that sounds too easy. And because we, only, we know that when you ask somebody else for forgiveness, they don't forgive that easily. So what we do is something that we don't realize we're doing. We do something in psychology, they call it projection. So we project the human inability to forgive right away because people are not forgiven. So you start assuming that Allah is also not immediately forgiving. How can Allah forgive? Do you know how much I messed up? I mean, I know I've heard the ayat about Allah forgiving, but bro, seriously, I did some Olympic level stuff. Like my stuff is on another level. So I don't think you understand how, how far off from forgiveness I particularly am. I cannot begin to tell you how many people write to me, tell me, I know Allah is angry with me. I know Allah hates me. I know Allah hates me. It's, it's an incredible volume of Muslims that believe that they are beyond forgiveness. They're beyond redemption. They are beyond that. And what I want you to know is, first of all, guilt is a good thing. That's where I started. Guilt is a good thing. But the wrong kind of guilt, the wrong kind of guilt is what? Allah will never forgive me. I'm too far gone. You know who believes Allah will never forgive him? Iblis. He actually believes that. And if I share that belief with him, then I've joined the wrong team. I cannot believe that about myself. You cannot believe that about yourself, that Allah will never forgive. You cannot do that. You can't do that to yourself.